Well, hey out there, everybody. Good morning, Alex here with a paper cup of coffee and a cup of coffee video for y'all. So you might remember a, I think it was a couple months back, I did a video about a three panel salesman sample that I had just picked up for the 53 Bowman Color set. And I did a little quick talk about salesman samples, how they were made back in the day for both Bowman and Tops, and was talking about getting it framed. So wanted to share that with you guys and then eventually get it up on the wall and show you guys how that turned out. So, um, so yeah, decided that I didn't wanna send them in for grading purposes and get them slapped and all that kind of thing. Was thinking that it would be more fun to get them framed um, before I got it framed though, I wanted to get another one and really took to this one, um, like those three cards. And, and so once I got that one, I wanted to go ahead and, and, uh, get it framed. Now getting it framed, I was kind of unsure of what the process was going to be like. Um, I got it done at Michael's actually, the, uh, arts and crafts store. And I think when a lot of people think Michael's, they think you know, pipe cleaners and googly eyes and, you know, stuff like that. But Michael's actually has a very good custom framing uh, area in their store. And I think it might have just recently been acquired by somebody else. Anyway, I've been taking a lot of stuff there over the years and I'm always really happy with what they do. So I took them in there and kind of told them what I wanted to do. But of course, what I told them was that I didn't want the cards to be mounted in any way that would destroy them. Um, you know, I didn't want to have any tape or, you know, adhesive applied to the cards. And so they gave me a couple of options. And the one that seemed to make the most sense was this kind of floating uh, option. Um, basically, they wrapped it in uh, each salesman sample, they wrapped them in mylar and then mounted that to the backing and then were able to frame it from there. Um, the drawback was that I'm not able to see the back of the cards anymore, but if I really ever wanted to take this apart and you know get them slabbed or do something else with them, uh, the cards would not be destroyed. I would be able to, to take them out of there, protect the sleeves and you know still have them be in the condition that I want them to be in. So enough about that. Let's take a look at the cards in more detail. I've got Mickey Grasso, Carl Ferrillo, and Ray Boone. And you can see how they're kind of floating there on the, uh, the backing. And then the next salesman sample, and this is the one I've shown before. You have Hall of Famer Ralph Kiner, Eddie Eust and uh, Ken Raffensberger. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks really nice. And, you know, it's a way to display a little bit of, of this set and, you know, the, the process, the journey that I've been on to collect this set. Uh, you guys all know I'm like two cards away. So let's go ahead and show this up on the wall. 